Hello everybody, this is Budridge and in this video we will browse Unix porn. Or no, we will not really, but I want to highlight a post here because it's a very very good uh, thing uh, has happened. Um, someone have figured out how to switch uh, GTK themes on the fly. Both GTK2 and GTK3 works with it, this method. It's also, it works for uh, without any desktop environments, so it works in i3 or awesome or whatever uh, DWM you name it whatever uh, And I thought let's have a look at how to achieve this because it's not 100% obvious from the comment and also it's like more or less ignored here on Unix porn since it's uh, They don't understand how great this is um, First, I guess uh, we have this script here, which uh, this guy uses to toggle between dark and, and light mode. And uh, uh, the script is kind of hard coded in a way here with, with the specific themes and dark and light mode. But th th this works for any uh, installed GTK themes. And if you look at the script, you can see that all it really does is uh, executing this xconf query thing here, changing the theme. And this is something I think I've tried this method even and never gotten it working. And then it does some uh, netcat to localhost and stuff, but that's that's for his uh, uh, IntelliJ applications. We don't need this. All we actually need is this command here. And xf Conf query. That's uh, something that's part of the XFCE settings uh, and something I was already using actually for my Thunar Dirtax. So already had this. But we also need another thing that he mentions here. Um, an X set, a daemon implementing the X setting specs. And apparently XFCE have that as well in its uh, packages. But to get this, you need to install a package, which uh, you can see here, XFCE4 settings. So you need to install this, 3.15 megabytes. It's available in the official uh, Pacman repositories. Um, and probably other package managers as well uh, or I'm not sure exactly what the package is called in other package managers but I will um, write in the show notes uh, like the command to install this from pacman uh, and when that is installed then we can start this x settings daemon uh, command which is uh, you, you just write xf settings d to start it uh, and yeah hit enter of course and mine is already running in, in the background. So let's not start it again here. Uh, but uh, the, the best thing is uh, to, to set, this up, set, set it up as an auto store start um, thing, either in Xinit or as a systemd service or something. When that is running, then we can uh, use these commands here. And then, whoops, this is the wrong one. We have theme name. Yeah, I guess it, it, this works also. We could we could change icons and stuff, but let's just look at the GTK theme here. Theme name, and then uh, theme is of course um, a theme in this directory here. So I have these uh, GTK themes installed right now. Most of them are variations of uh, a new mix theme. But if we execute this command with the daemon running, then it will now uh, change uh, the GTK themes. But we will now see that it is kind of, because, but that's Thunar. Thunar is a broken mess. Ada wa i ta Uh, 
Ah, I forgot an E there. Adawa Ita. And there, it changed. You could see in Pale Moon it changed theme. But, and in Thunar the status bar here changed, but the browser window doesn't change until you refresh it if you have thumbnail view like this. Uh, but here is a GTK3 application. This is a GTK2. This is GTK2. We test it again with, with um, one theme called Plan 9. It works. We can also maybe show the menu here, then it becomes a little bit more. You see, it just works now. Except for this, I have to refresh Thunar window, but and that is kind of ironic since uh, Thunar is the only XFCE program running here. <laughs> and it also works with Sublime now, which, which I couldn't do uh, before. You see, now it also changes the color of the menu, which is incredibly nice. One small uh, note here, though, is uh, that this will only work um, if... Uh, this uh, uh, this thing exists in xconf query otherwise you will probably get some some similar um, error like this uh, so a better way is actually to also add or i think you might need to add it let's add it earlier create that will create the key if it doesn't exist and then we should also specify the type of the key, which is a string. This is the type. And then it will create it if it doesn't exist. So you can still uh, use this to toggle theme here. Um, and I, I just added this to my Mondo config now. So now I can do things like Mondo apply plan nine. And now it should also change the color of the terminals and stuff, you know. So yeah, but Mondo is a bit weird for me now. It moves the windows sometimes. I'm not sure if it is uh, because it restarts i3 might be that uh, which makes it. No, it worked. It's really nice, really, really nice. So big uh, kudos to this guy, Mikhail Muchianko from St. Petersburg and probably also JetBrains, might be an employee at JetBrains, might explain why he's using IntelliJ because, yeah. <laughs> and his version here, it also changes like uh, the theme for, for IntelliJ, which is a Java UI application. And that is also something that is kind of tricky to, to get working. But if you want the, like the most um, lightweight version of this, all you need is actually this command and then you add that to wherever you change theme and, and just change this last thing here to the name of the GTK theme. And as you could see, you, you don't even have to change uh, uh, um, the theme name in the in the GTK settings files and stuff that I needed to do prior to this. So yeah, I just wanted to, to highlight uh, this post because yeah, it doesn't get any attention at all. It was uploaded like uh, yeah, 21 hours ago, 10 hours ago. Someone uploaded this. No thinking, instant Christ instant 400 likes you know oh it fits that it, it fits the unix porn uh, template upvote you have the visualizer pfetch terminals no other applications dark dark as my soul upvote <laughs> and here say this was uploaded at the same time just some terminals some status bar whatever then someone actually make does some research and, and, and creates something that, that the community has really been craving for a long time. I, I get comments about this on, on my videos uh, from now and then. Hey, this doesn't work for GTK3. And I'm like, yeah, I know. it's uh, I don't know how, how to do it. I tried to, to get it working, but I, I, I never figured it out and gave up on, on trying to do it. 
because I thought I, I needed to go into like um, D bus territory and I just don't want to be there. But this was really, really simple. And I guess uh, I just installed this, um, so I haven't tested it any further. But um, I guess that you can set other settings as well. Uh, and having this daemon uh, updating uh, uh, GTK and stuff. So for example, setting icons uh, will most likely work. But also cursor, which is something that you might want to do in, in a convenient way. But I haven't really researched it. Uh, the drawback is of course that you need this uh, uh, XF settings daemon running and it is a process and it is um, but it is somewhat lightweight at least XF settings here it takes uh, about 0.3% of my 8 gigabyte uh, RAM usage here so it is something but for me it has always been an annoyance to that the GTK3 parts isn't updated and I use it in Sublime, you know, I always have that open and I just don't want to restart Sublime for something like that. So often I have like a broken menu if when I change theme and this, but most of the time I have like power control here. No big deal. I can just exit out and open it again. Or maybe I have Lutris is also GTK3. Yeah, I haven't tested this. How that works. Uh, if it works, Mondo i3, <laughs> it works, it's beautiful. Okay, um, and this Mondo thing, whatever, I have videos about that as well. It's, uh, it's my own theme manager thing, whatever. And all I, all I did was actually add Add that to, to the GTK theme, or I probably added it here. Apply here. I just added this line here to apply the theme in my in one of the GTK uh, uh, generators here, and I added it to this one because this should be the last one done here. I wanted it wanted to make sure that all the other GTK uh, uh, generators was finished before I execute this. Okay, thank you for watching everybody, have a great day, bye.